that you expected to come here today to hear about science fiction and facts. So what did that have to do with the world we live in today? Actually, it has to do with everything with this world is about today. So science fiction, a starship for enterprise innovation. This is exactly what we're going to talk about. So the next big global industry innovations are driven by science fiction knowledge. And you might think, so what does she really mean by that? Is that the science fiction movies that we're watching in television? And when we go to the movie theaters? Or is it something totally new that we have never heard about? No, it is exactly that science fiction that you have seen through your entire life and probably enjoyed. And I bet on that the majority of the crowd in here actually have an inner science fiction in, in you. So what is it with that science fiction and why has that suddenly become relevant? So let me take you on a small journey. So we have Innovation 1.0. Innovation 1.0 was what was invented for around 10 to 12 years ago in Silicon Valley. This is where the gravity of understanding of open innovation and collaboration between academia, startups, VC, cooperation, was created and shaped in the most beautiful way. And the rest of the world have been harvested for this and have been learned for that incredible way of, way of thinking on innovation. But we also know that innovation cannot only be in one pocket in the world. Of course it cannot. And that's why the last around five to eight years, we have seen that innovation pockets around the world have been popping up from Johannesburg to Berlin, to Chile, to any places in the world. We see amazing innovation cities. Innovation happens everywhere today. This is what we call Innovation 2.0. This is where we, in cities around the world, are having great collaborations between academia, startups, VC, corporations, and so on. But the thing about Innovation 2.0, this is why you ask yourself, but why are we, what are we innovating for? What, what are we doing this for? And why is it that we can innovate? The reason why we can innovate is because we have so many amazing immersion technologies today, like blockchain, machine learning, AI, and so on and so forth. But there's no reason for doing innovation if you're not doing for a purpose. There needs to be a purpose for why we are doing innovation. And this is where innovation with purpose, Innovation 3.0, really became so super strong when United Nations in 2015 launched the 17 Global Goals. So now we know why we innovate. We innovate because we have a purpose in life. We want to give more back than we take before we leave this world. And this is something that Mandela is one of the biggest leaders in the world have brought to all of us. Not just in the continent of Africa, but is an inspiration around the world about when you lead, you lead with purpose. When you innovate, you innovate with purpose. And this is what we call Innovation 3.0. The thing is now that doing Innovation 3.0 is actually really hard. Because if you really want to solve the 17 Global Goals by 2030, you need to have a bit of a good imagination and a little bit of craziness. This is what we call the La La Land. This is what LA is known for. This is where the film industry is. This is where you find the mindset of the La La Land. But you also find the La La Land here in the continent of Africa. This is where imagination, craziness, dreams, visions, again, dreams and visions that Mandela always talked about is key for us to reach much higher than we even thought we could reach. 
And this is what is innovation for the law. And that's why we need science fiction. Because we know from science fiction that this is where we really get our mindset into a gear that can bring us into situations where we kind of become a little bit more loose about what we think is possible. So let me bring you into innovation 4.0. So the 17 global goals is given. 2030, we need to reach all the KPIs before, behind the framework. We know the world leaders, we know CEOs around the world, we know citizen movements, we know everybody is behind the 17 global goals. And that's the first thing we need to reach because that is the partnership goal number 17, because together we can do so much. But again, we need a framework, we need a mindset to be able, because this is tough goals to reach. And then you might think, okay, so why is it, and this is where the interesting thing comes, why is it that science fiction here in 2018, 19, suddenly become a thing that we will use in a corporate setting. Why did that not happen earlier? So, if you go back in time, you realize that in the good 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, there's been so many incredible people writing about why is it that we can make those great science fiction movies, but at the same time, those ideas that is brought into those movies, which is brought in by futurists who also work in the corporate world, why is it that those ideas are not implemented in the corporate setting? It's very simple. And it has to do with that the technology that we have today the machine learning, the AI, the blockchain, the, the voice apps, all the amazing immersive technologies. If I have a crazy idea today, I'm actually able to implement it in the next four months. It is simple shrinking every day the speed on what you can do with immersion technology. And that is why the science fiction mindset is a necessity for us to unlock the possibility that we have in technology today. That's the opportunity. So, do you recall the first time you realized that something which was made different in your life, no matter what phase it was, and first appears in the movie many years ago? If you think about that for two seconds, you probably think, oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. One thing that I know you all have in your pockets is your phone. And actually, that was already shown in some kind of shape in Star Trek in 1960. And actually, the mobile phone inventor, Martin Cooper, was inspired by that in 1960. But it was not in 1960 that we saw the first smartphone. It came first later. So if we get to think about that philosophy about, huh, a science fiction movie, an immersive technology, a purpose, one of the 17 global goals, is there really a correlation that can help me in my business, in who I am as a person, to be able to predict and build the new world that we all want to live in, where the 17 global goals is fulfilled? Let me take you to a, a couple of examples. Westworld. So Westworld, which was recently produced again uh, on HBO, Sophia, as we know, I think you all know Sophia, is a human robot. And if you see Westworld and you see Sophia, you see there's definitely a correlation between those two things. Or if you see the fifth element, the flying car. If you think about the flying car conversation we've had the last couple of years, and we have a flying car conversation today, it's not even awkward to think about a flying car. And the Star Trek, we talked about the flip phone. There are so many examples, what we see in science fiction movies, that today has becoming a reality. I doubt 
when you're going to see a science fiction movie that you think, huh, I can use that for my business development or when I work on my startup. But you actually can use it as inspiration. So, therefore, it is time to activate your inner science fiction imagination. And it's all about reframing, looking at the world from another lens. You all know when you go traveling or you go to new places or have new type of conversation, it reshapes your mindset. And this is what we need when we work with that imagination we need to have today. You need to become a time traveler. So, welcome to the science fiction universe, where it's time to do moonshot thinking. It's time to be part of communities where you speak about science fiction, you give examples, you see how can it be used in business context. Join the Science Fiction Academy, and really begin to understand how science fiction can be a guiding tool for you to guide you into the future. So the science fiction mindset, you might say, it sounds interesting, and is this really the real thing? But if you look at some of the most greatest leaders of today, many of those people have actually been inspired by science fiction movies or imagination type of ideas that have brought them to where they are today. And if you look at a person like Mandela, he definitely had visions and missions, what was leading his purpose leadership. And that take an imagination and belief. And that is what we use science fiction mindset for. So it is time to not just be readers and observe the world. It's time to be thinkers and be activists and take responsibility and contribute. But not just contribute in a status quo. Contribute in the context you live in. Of course, get inspired from a global perspective and be a little bit crazy in the La La Land that we actually live in today where everything is possible. So, as Mandela said, it always seems impossible until it's done. And I actually think that's very important. Quote, because if anybody tells you it is absolutely not possible what you're going to do, you should definitely go forward. Because that just means that it is extreme enough it's going to be great, it's going to have a big impact, you're going to lead something. But one thing that's important when you think about innovation for the door, always lead with purpose. The thing you all need to understand today, we live in a world where you can do absolutely everything you want with technology. We can do everything, it gives you responsibility to make sure you do the right thing. How do you know you do the right thing? This is where you have the 17 global goals to give you the guiding framework so you know what to do. The only thing with limit you right now is your imagination to get the ideas that are strong enough, impactful enough to do the really big thing. So welcome to the new world on Innovation 4.0 and please activate your inner science fiction. It's going to be a super fun. Welcome to the La La Land. A little bit crazy and it is great. And uh, don't be concerned about it. I, I trust me, a lot of people will follow your excitement about it. Thank you so much.